Hi there. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, tracking wine using blockchain technology. Uh, in this, I will explain the process that would be taken uh, that that we will take to track wines all the way starting from the grapes to to the time when it reaches to the consumer and how consumer is able to uh, assess the authenticity of wines. Okay, so. What happens uh, in this scenario is we have to decide where the where the tracking process starts. So let's assume we uh, start the tracking uh, from the time when the grapes are uh, from the time from the uh, from the time when we get grapes of the of the wines. So that is that is say let's the first uh, suppose that is the first uh, step in this tracking process. Uh, what we will do is we will capture uh, some attributes about the grape as in the quality of the grape or the time it was harvested uh, who harvested it and all such information uh, and this could be captured either automatically uh, using different types of sensors or it could be done manually uh, where a person uh, working on the farm captures all this information. Uh, this information then is uh, recorded. Let's assume uh, this information goes on to the first block of the blockchain uh, and defining what a block has and what, what should be the contents of the block uh, is, uh, is, uh, is, an, is an exercise. So there is no one uh, block fits all uh, kind of a solution. So we, it is up to the, uh, the, the blockchain developer uh, to understand uh, the entire system and see how uh, how it would what would be the uh, ideal um, information that could be added to the block so in this case let's assume that we capture the information such as the type of the grape uh, the quantity that was harvested and the date and the time when that uh, group of uh, that uh, that harvest was used so that is our first uh, capture information capture uh, that will go onto the blockchain probably in, on the first block and the first block in the blockchain is often called as the genesis block so this is where everything begins uh, and if you have read a bit about uh, blockchain you would know uh, there is a uh, uh, the, these different blocks in a blockchain are connected using hash hashes so this is the the genesis block is the only block that does not have a previous hash all other blocks will have a previous hash that will uh, in a way um, connect uh, these entire uh, these different blocks so uh, that's the first step so we have gathered uh, information about the harvest uh, the next ne the next step would be when this inf when these uh, grapes are then processed to generate uh, to create wine uh, that would be the next information that would be captured uh, we could capture information like uh, the temperature uh, with at which these grapes were maintained or when uh, or when they were uh, when the wine was actually uh, made what was the temperature uh, conditions uh, like that so basically condition monitoring information can be uh, can be monitored and added directly to the uh, to the blockchain uh, when we say about adding this information to a blockchain you could imagine this as a form of uh, uh, a function or an action uh, that is initiated and we can also call it as a as a smart contract uh, a smart contract is a piece of code or a functionality that uh, gets activated or uh, gets uh, uh, starts does its job when particular conditions are met so let's say in in, in this case of uh, in the wine um, manufacturing uh, as soon as the uh, <coughs> say the the first set of uh, harvested uh, grapes come through the processing center there would be a sensor that would capture that we have got the first batch and that event uh, activates the smart contract to run its process and the activation of that smart contract results in some uh, uh, information added to the blockchain depending upon the outcome of this uh, exercise uh, the next the next bit would be uh, let's say packaging the wine is ready after a few years uh, we get it from the barrels uh, uh, pack it uh, pack it in the bottles 
and each and every bottle could would now be identified using uh, various uh, different technologies for example we could use an RFID tag to identify each bottle at an item level or we could use uh, say um, a 2d barcode anything that could identify individual bottle uh, and then link it back to that this bottle actually came from this farm and uh, using these grapes that were picked at this particular time uh, by this harvester and so on so that kind of a history uh, gets uh, attached uh, to that piece of bottle and now let's imagine this bottle is then trans uh, then shipped from the um, uh, from the uh, by the transport uh, company it, it picks up these bottles at a specific time they are put in a pallet and the pallet goes on to a truck that information can then again be captured and added to the blockchain uh, once that is done uh, it, it probably would go uh, into a wholesaler or a retailer and finally to the consumer so this entire chain of events starting uh, from when the grapes were harvested to the end when the um, bottle uh, bottle of wine actually ends up in the customer's hand uh, that entire chain that entire chain of events uh, can be captured on blockchain and this is very important because it gives customer the uh, the, the information that they need it increases the uh, authenticity of the product it believes it increases the trust uh, for the customer because the customer could easily uh, use a phone app a scan the barcode uh, 2d barcode and see the entire history of the of, of how the wine was made so that is in a in a nutshell i tried to uh, try to keep this very simple just to give you an idea of how uh, if blockchain is implemented uh, for tracking wine how it would be and uh, I hope you understand uh, I hope you uh, understood uh, the point that I was trying to make here through this video if you have any questions uh, please leave uh, leave comments for me and I'll try to get back to you thanks a lot bye bye